Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a POV experience with the Aston Martin DBS, one of the most beautiful cars and here I'm holding the key to this wonderful piece. So press it and start it up. We 12 baby! Let me take you through the stats while we're driving a little bit along this beautiful road. It has a 6 liter V12 engine. Those engines are combined of two 3 liter six cylinder engines stuck into one from Cotsworth. It produces 517 horsepower and 570 newton meters of torque. It is able to accelerate the car from 0 to 100 in 4.3 seconds and it's more like it is a little bit like a grand tourer okay it's not the sportiest car that Aston Martin wanted to build it's more really a grand tourer a car for your day-to-day -day drive that you can explore and enjoy on the weekends and that is what I love about it it weighs in at around 1.6 tons it has a two seat plus two seats for small children let's say to the age of six to seven if you want out if you want to find out more about the interior or the driving experience make sure to check out our two videos we did on the car but for me it is one of the most beautiful cars to drive there is a reason for that it is not the fastest car it is not the most sporty car but it has a flair that you search to com c compare it to it really is incredible to feel and to enjoy on a normal road to drive it a little bit faster so thinking of driving this car on track would be a wrong thought for me it really isn't for track use it is for a mountain road where you just want to challenge yourself you enjoy it you drive it you feel it and you experience this incredible might when i talk about might let me give you a little glimpse of what this car is able to do put it in sport shift yourself look at that wow after 5000 rpms this really gets going really does it really really gets going so uh that is really intense and beautiful to experience let's turn here first gear let me show you what i mean so uh, we have an automatic gearbox actually you see that oh. my god is that is that an incredible force And you're much too fast that is what happens with those cars man it's really really a beautiful machine six speed it's kind of mounted in the middle so it's a it's a, a v12 of course in the front and the six speed gearbox mounted to the rear middle of the car so right here in this area which makes it very nice to handle the Vantage is a better handling car if I'm completely honest I own the Vantage there's a bunch of videos of that car on my channel and I absolutely loved every single moment of it but this has an incredible incredible flair let's uh, turn off the ESP or at least put it into a little more suitable uh, DSC mode for a rain, rainy day let's put it in first and let's accelerate gently because we have horses in the back see that Wow! now the power comes in and we're too fast my god is that a beautiful machine it really is it really is an incredible machine to experience as I said it's not the fastest but it has just a flair it feels so comfortable cruising along this road and everything you do with it feels kind of like you're in the movie it really is like a movie set it's just so incredible and beautiful to look at even when you open the window a little bit not a lot of wind noise comes into the cabinet they really managed to do an incredible job with that car then we have Bang & Olufsen on the left and the right side if I turn this off it disappears see that also very smooth turn it on it comes to life again <laughs> very nice same thing with the navigation system if i want to use the navigation system you just press here navigation the screen should come on like that maybe press enter i'm not really sure uh, here it is also very smooth and when you don't want it if it disturbs you a little bit you just turn it off like this
Zack. My God, it's very, very nice. It's, it's delightful. It's just as they say, they have the perfect word for it. And it's called effortless. Effortless machine. It's just a little too fast for Swiss roads. That is the only shame. See that? Shifts down. Wah! My God, man. My God. How does it turn? We have two modes. We have a hard suspension mode and standard suspension mode. When you turn in, feels very nice. Steering wheel is also a great feeling. This feels mint. It really does. Uh, when you put the suspension into the hardest setting, it does feel a little rough. It really does. It feels a little rough, to be honest. So I like it. Uh, I like it in a softer suspension mode, especially for roads like this. So let's put it into the softer mode. You can tell it immediately. Immediately. Let's turn here. Let me give you, let me give you a, a launch that this car deserves. I love also that they stuck the pedal shifters up and down shift to this uh, this part where the steering wheel is attached to so when I turn in you can still shift up no matter where your uh, position is that is very good okay let's accelerate here one time three two one go what? <laughs> oh man you can try to do it but uh, you have seen it there it really doesn't help and that's you know a lot of people will say well why should you drive a v12 and uh, it only accelerates from 0 to 104.3 seconds my cla 45s does that my golf r does that yes but you can't compare those two cars ever sitting inside this beautiful majestic uh, car is completely something else than sitting in your shitty hatchback this is really not comparable with those cars this is a car for men the embodiment the epitome of pure gentleman sporty looks of how a man should be and don't you ever compare it to those shit cars this is a piece of art okay it's a rolex it's like a fine wine that only gets better when it gets older it is the perfect combination of old school and new car design it is wonderful it's brilliant in every single way so i love it for that and comparing this car to other supercars doesn't make sense even even more because it's not made for the same purpose this is made for a man to enjoy its success it's not made to uh, display your small dick like in other sports cars it is made to enjoy success something you have worked for and that is what i love about it effortless acceleration powerful v12 what a majestic feeling man on a rainy day just hop into your beautiful machine and drive what does it use in fuel well you're looking at 30 liters right now because we drove it a little bit uh, harsh let's uh, turn that back god i missed to sit in an Aston martin you can't even believe it i missed it so much you can't even believe it press on read where is it where is it where is it where is it press on read here they placed those buttons really bad to be honest they, they placed it really bad you can it, it's really not intuitive but who cares just drive it man drive it and enjoy it 305 kph top speed that is good that is really good that is really good the gearbox feels a little sluggish at some points and the uh, engine sadly feels a little tired to be honest so the problem with this engine is since it has six liters and it only revs to six and a half seven thousand rpms it feels a little bit yeah a little bit how can i say it it doesn't feel aggressive other v12 engines feel much more aggressive this feels a little bit slow and it has like a like a slight delay uh, before responding brutally 
but still you don't drive this car for that purpose you drive it because you want to drive it and to experience it what would I rather take this or an Aston Martin Vantage well I would take the Vantage just because of that engine the engine in the Vantage the V8 revs to seven and a half thousand rpms so that makes me interested in that but there's also a Vanquish V12 with 571 horsepower and also a Vantage V12 so we would have to check those engines first first before we talk I checked the Vanquish you can uh, see the link in the description we I'll put the video in which also has a little bit of a slow response of the ZF automatic though that car had a seven speed gearbox but still it felt very nice and much more aggressive and the sound was also much more aggressive this you can tell that this is, this is a V12 of course in the higher RPM gauges yes but uh, in the low RPM I mean listen to that it feels like an S-Class I'll, I'll let you enjoy the sound a little more when we get on the curve a bit oh my god even if it's a rainy day in a car like this you don't have bad days man take this out this is the funniest shit ever man take this out sign the deal put it in <laughs> Aston Martin man all right sport jack manual What a beautiful sound. You see that? Slight delay when shifting. Slight delay, but really not bad. Really not what you would expect. You would expect it to be much, much slower, but it's really not that bad, man. And the car is from 2010, so... Uh... But I know what, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to drive... I'm going to drive through the tunnel, man. <laughs> I will drive through the tunnel, I don't care. We have to experience this. We have to. We have to. What a lovely machine. The embodiment of what a man should be. Okay. So we have to turn right here, I guess. Yes, car is in sport. Oh God, oh God. I have to open the window a little bit, right side. Oh my God, look at it. It's coming guys, it's coming. The tunnel is coming, second gear. <laughs> oh my god, I pushed it into the rev limiter. Once the valve's open, man, this is game over. Wow. Yeah, you, we would have to open the valves constantly. That is a little bit a little bit sad. But as I said, I mean it's it's really not the purpose of the car. Ah, but I swear if this was my car, I would fit an exhaust system on so that you would think you would drive an F1, really. This is a little bit this is a little bit sad, man. They could have they could have done it a little bit more aggressive. I mean, listen to that. Let's put it in second gear. Let's give it another go here. I mean they could have made it a little bit more aggressive that is sad but other than that I mean <laughs> it's an Aston Martin man what do you expect this is sort of the Grand Tour so it's not that aggressive and that's as far as we can take it I hope you enjoyed this POV drive thank you very much for watching make sure to leave a like subscribe and see you on the next one goodbye